Hello, my name is Sherilyn and I'm a music teacher from Malaysia. In this podcast, you will hear me share stories about my teaching career and other stuff that interests me such that I want to share with you. Stay tuned and listen to what's coming next in this episode. Hello listeners. Um, this episode, I just want to share very quickly about what I have just learned today. Uh, well, as I mentioned before, I'm still figuring out what I'm going to do with my podcast. I mean, I was thinking whether I should create um, video versions or YouTube video versions of my podcast just so that those who don't subscribe to podcasts, they can tune in from YouTube as well. So I was, you know, having a lot of thoughts and I was um, looking around. Then I thought I'll just give it a try. Not, uh, it won't hurt, right? So um, I tried creating a video, a very simple one. It has my podcast image attached. And then I was thinking, hmm, can I add some audio visualizer kind of thing? You know, where you can see the sound waves moving and things like that. So I am using, I'm currently using uh, this video editing software called Caden Live. It's a open video software for PC and I think Linux, Linux or Linux as you would pronounce it. Or I'm not sure if they have one for Mac, but anyway, I'm using Windows. So um, Caden Live is, it's, it runs quite smoothly on Windows for me. Um, so I was, you know, looking out for tutorials and I came across this tutorial by, uh, this guy called, uh, Pizza Loving Nerd. You can find him on YouTube and he created this, uh, tutorial on creating audio visualizers. And I noticed that, yeah, that video was helpful, but it's pretty old and there are many Caden Live tutorials quite old. They are not up to date with the current versions. So as I said, it's an open software, so they keep updating, you know, things like that. So anyway, I tried to follow the video and things and I still couldn't get around it. Like I managed to um, generate the audio form. It took me a while. It wasn't easy. But then I learned that, oh, I have to click on the master track and then apply the audio spectrum filter uh, effect onto the master. So it appeared and I have to make some adjustments. I like the visuals. Uh, it's like sound bars and things like that. It, but it doesn't appear in the rendered file. So I was quite bummed about it. But I couldn't figure out why uh, it doesn't appear. And the forums are not very helpful because pretty much I'm not the only one who have the problem. So I have to look for other alternatives. And then I came across this uh, YouTube video called How to Make Audio Spectrum in Filmora 9 Tutorial 2020. And it's by Don V Filmora Tutorials. You can find him on uh, YouTube. So uh, I thought maybe I, I should, you know, seriously consider investing in a proper video editing software. So I thought maybe I'll consider Filmora. So I just have a look at how Don V uh, apply the audio spectrum or this audio visualizer. And then I, re I found out that he also used another website to create the audio spectrum. And it's in this website called musicvid.org, M-U-S-I-C-V-I-D.org. And you can visualize sound uh, for free in your browser. You don't have to download any software. You just upload your audio into the site and they even have presets, preset videos that you can use for visualizing sound or music. So I just followed his tutorial, how Don V did it. Uh, and I was troubleshooting a few things. I didn't quite like um, that. The fact that when I render the visualizer file, the background is black and yeah, the visualizer is white. I mean, that's quite standard uh, based on what I see in his tutorial. Uh, but I wanted that 
spectrum, the white color spectrum to blend with the background of my podcast image back in Caden Life. But that's not working. Even after I apply transparency or what you call opacity, when I applied that, uh, <laughs> I can't see anything. So um, I adjusted you know, the layout. And then the spectrum now appears at the bottom of the screen. And the background of the audio spectrum now is like lime green, green color generally. And the audio wave, the spectrum is white. So I guess it's a good contrast. The color is a good contrast to my podcast image, which is like navy blue and white. I still don't quite like how it turned out, but... You know, so far, that's the best I can do until I figure out how I can do it better on Caden Live or maybe DaVinci Resolve. That's the other video editing software I have, but it's quite complicated on DaVinci Resolve. I, I'm using very little of it nowadays. I use it for very, very specific purpose, um, freelance projects that I do. So I think it's too much effort <laughs> to do this sometimes. But well, that's um, something new that I learned today. And well, I, ho I hope you enjoyed uh, finding out about that. Maybe you want to try this out. Or if you know something about it, feel free to you know send me an email about it at sharethemusic at gmail.com. C-H-E-R-T-H-E-M-U-S-I-C. I would love to know what you think. And <laughs> maybe you got alternatives. Yeah. So thank you and stay tuned to the next episode.